Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a really long time since I've been on Blamus and the Bounty Hunter storyline, but I really, really wanted to do a bit more of her story, go through the post-class stuff. Uh, it's been absolutely ages, so I actually had to do a complete uh, run-through of what I'd already done, and I thought I would do a very short video in between uh, the Ilum story, which we were going to go on to, and uh, the past 44 episodes I think we've done on the class story. Um, so this episode is totally skippable uh, if you're just running in uh, in order on the playlist. So just skip this if you don't want a recap of what has happened so far. Uh, if not, then hear me speak. I'm not going to do anything in the background or anything. It's literally just going to be me speaking. So this is totally uh, like do something else whilst you're listening to me do this. Uh, okay, so we started out on the Great Hunt, obviously, at the very beginning uh, when Taro Blood kills our squad before we even get into the Great Hunt. Uh, and then we eventually get a sponsorship uh, into the Great Hunt from Nemro the Hut. Uh, and we'll be seeing a lot more huts uh, as the story goes on because it's the first expansion that we'll be doing uh, after Ilum sometime. Uh, so chapter one after that, uh, once we get into the Great Hunt, is we just take down infamous targets on different planets. Uh, and in the end, we eventually go head to head with Tarot Blood and we kill him. Uh, along the way, we also take down a Jedi, Jedi Master called Kelly and Jaro, uh, who is well known for destroying the entire Mandalorian clan. So that gets us some major rep with our fellow Mandos. Um, and then chapter two is when we gain access to the blacklist because we won the Great Hunt. Uh, so all the Great Hunt winners get access to this influence blacklist uh, and then now we have this great access to it. Uh, and we kill two targets, one of which is Torin Kadera's father. He's like this infamous uh, target that no one could have gotten and the uh, money for it was like really, really high because you put a stake in it and then whoever actually gets the target got the money at the end and we won it, so which is pretty cool. Uh, and then eventually the Jedi want justice for killing Master Jaro, which we did back in Chapter 1. Uh, and they hound us everywhere, like as we go from planet to planet for the Blacklist. Um, and eventually the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic declares us a threat to all civilised life, which makes us public enemy number one. Uh, and that's how Chapter 2 ends. Uh, chapter 3, we... Because we're a major target, we're public enemy number one, all the bounty hunters, basically anyone uh, with a blaster, is trying to come after us for this great bounty. Uh, and eventually Darth Tormund comes along and becomes our ally from uh, from the Sith sort of side of things. And he helps us get bounties to get Master June Seros into the open, who is partially responsible for us becoming public enemy number one. Uh, Darth Tormund then names the Supreme Chancellor as the ultimate bounty, uh, which of course we go towards and uh, we then get him to clear our name and then we kill him. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's like the bare bones of like what we spent 44 episodes of like 45 minutes each, like approximately doing. Uh, that was the story. Um, so at the moment, that class story uh, is pretty much on its own. Um, it's very singular, doesn't need you don't necessarily need to have done that class story to do what follows. Um, there might be very small references to it. I can't remember. I have only played past the class story once, all the way to the end of the third expansion? <laughs> Something like that? I'm not entirely sure. I think that's right. Um, so yeah, so it will be really intriguing to actually do this with a bounty hunter, which I haven't brought a bounty hunter all the way to the end before. So it will be quite cool to see how the story's different. If it's different, it might not be. Um, so yeah, so that is the summary. So the next episode you guys will see will be us doing the Ilum story. And I will set up uh, my... UI because it seems in the space it's taken me for to actually play Blavis again everything is different and fucked up um, but yeah so thank you very much for watching and tune in next video